Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to our 24th C++ tutorial. I should also wish everybody a Merry Christmas, as it is ironically December 24th, Christmas Eve. All right, today we're going to be discussing classes and inheritance. So what is inheritance? Well, inherit inheritance is when um, a class inherits the properties and methods of another class. Sounds confusing, but it's actually very simple. Let's say class, and we'll say fridge, and this is like short for refrigerator public int temp so there we have a refrigerator class with a public variable called temp for temperature let's actually make another class here we'll call it uh, we'll call it truck change this to speed so now we have a truck class that has a public integer of speed so we have two totally different classes one refrigerates one drives now we're going to make it a third class. We'll call it oops. We'll call it freezer truck. And let's just uh get out of there. Public and it inherits the truck. Hope if I could spell today. And it also inherits the fridge class. So this is multiple inheritance. Now what this is saying is we have a class called freezer truck. You notice how there's nothing in it, but it's going to inherit both the truck and the fridge. So when we go ahead and we say freezer truck, we'll call it M truck, you notice how suddenly, magically, it has both a speed and a temperature variable. Now you notice how the speed variable comes from truck and the temp variable comes from fridge. That's how multiple inheritance works. Now in a normal classroom setting they're gonna go over inheritance and then they're gonna go over multiple inheritance. I covered both at the same time because they're essentially the same thing. You just have to understand that you can inherit properties from multiple classes so you can be not just a truck or a refrigerator, you can be a truck and a refrigerator, like a refrigerated truck. And to use this, you could use it just like any other class. Say he's going 100 miles an hour and the temperature is a, a balmy 20 degrees. And let's just go see out. I mean, as you can see, there's there's nothing really new here. It's the exact same thing you've been doing. But now you understand that you can create classes and inherit the properties of other classes. Now, you might have noticed the, um, the public keyword. What is going on with that? Well, let's run this example real quick, and then we'll explain. I just want to show you that this does indeed work. See, it's going 100 miles an hour, and it's 20 degrees. Now, the public keyword says you're going to inherit the public properties of truck. Notice how it's inheriting int speed. Let's make another one called int um, gas. How much gas that truck has. Now when we go back to our truck and we try to do that, you notice how suddenly it only sees that. Well, it's because we cannot inherit private properties of class. They're private. They're to the class only only the truck class can see gas. Now we're inheriting the public parts of truck so we're inheriting speed. Now if you have a function in truck for example um, void set gas int m gas and let's just make a little function here and we'll say gas equal m gas then yes we will inherit set gas and we can manipulate this private variable. Let's try that out here. Notice how gas has a little lock next to it. It means we can't touch it. Set gas and we'll say we're at 100 gas. And let's uh, copy this, paste that and let's try to access gas. I just want to show you exactly what's going on here. Notice how there's a build error and it says 
truck gas cannot access private member gas. So this goes back to our getter setter conversation. So we would have to actually say int get gas and return gas. And let's actually say get gas. And we have to include our brackets here. Let's run this. And sure enough, now it works. It's going 100 miles an hour, it's 20 degrees, and it has 100% gas. So that is how inheritance and multiple inheritance works with public and private variables. Now, it would be um, incredibly stupid to try to do something like this. Inherit the private variables of the truck because you can't you can't access them anyways. So there's really not a whole lot to do here. Oops, I cannot type today. Public truck fridge. Um, there's another uh, access modifier we should cover, and it is called protected. Actually, let's set it up here in the fridge class. Just uh, get rid of some of this clutter here. We'll say bool has freon. Not sure if I spelled freon right, but freon is the chemical inside of a fridge that makes it cold. All right, so there's freon. And what does protected mean? Protected means it's not public, it's not private, it's somewhere in between. It's private to the class, but it is available to all classes that inherit from it. So let's go back to our freezer truck example here. And you see how it has a different icon, a little lock, means it's protected, has freon equal true. And we can run this and, well, let's see if it runs. Has freon cannot access public members outside class fridge. Okay, the reason why we cannot access this is because we're trying to access it outside of the class. Now, if we were to access it inside of our freezer truck example here, uh, let's say uh, set freon. Let's just say uh, this has freon equal true. Now we can say set freon and that function inside of truck simply turns the has freon bool to true and when we run this it should compile just fine and sure enough there it works. So that in a nutshell is a about a two-week course in some computer science classes, but we've condensed it down to, I think, about five, ten minutes. Um, it's actually not hard once you get used to it. You just have to play around and you have to understand that um, a class can inherit other classes and they can inherit the public and the protected parts of the classes. And you can only access the protected parts of the classes from within a subclass or the class itself. Remember how when we went into freezer truck, we can set the has freon variable but when we try to do it in the main function, it can't do it because it doesn't have access. So this is Brian. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining, and uh, Merry Christmas. I'm going to take a couple of days off, hang out with my family, and uh, just relax.